Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to read an analog input pin, map the result to a range of 0 to 255, then use that input to change the brightness of an LED. In this example, we're going to use a potentiometer knob as our analog input, which is connected to pin number 2, or analog channel A0. Secondly, we're going to use an external LED that is connected to pin number 9, or P2.1, through a 220 ohm resistor. We use this helpful pin mapping guide to identify which pins are capable of the analog read and analog write functions, which are what we'll use for this example sketch. In this example, we're going to use pin A0 for an analog input and pin number 9 for the PWM output. Now that our hardware is set up, let's plug in our launch pad to the computer. Next, let's open up Energia. We'll import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Analog, Analog In Out Serial. In this code example, the first thing that we do is declare a few variables. These variables are nicknames for the pins that we'll want to use for input and output. We also create a few variables that will hold our analog input readings, called sensor value, and another variable called output value, which will ultimately be used to tell our LED how bright it should glow. Next, we see that we have a setup and loop section in our code. In setup, we build the framework and foundation for our project. Since we want to send some data back to the PC, we have to initialize our serial communication using the serial.begin function. In the loop function, this is where our code will spend most of its time. First, we read the signal coming from our potentiometer using the analog read function. We pass in our analog in pin variable as a parameter to our analog read function. Remember that we set analog in pin initially at A0 in the very beginning of our code. So this tells the analog read function which pin or channel to pay attention to. We then store this analog reading into the sensor value variable. Next, we're going to use another function called map. This function maps a range of numbers linearly to another range. Since our analog input can return a value anywhere between 0 and 1023, but our output LED can only output a value between 0 and 255, we have to do some scaling or mapping. The map function does exactly that. It takes a few parameters. First, we pass in the value we want to scale. Next, we pass in two numbers that correspond to the range of the input value. Then lastly, we pass in two more numbers that correspond to the range of the desired output. So this will scale our input from a range of 0 to 1023 to a range of 0 to 255, and we'll store this newly mapped value in a variable called output value. Next, we use a function called analog write, which will generate a PWM signal. We want the PWM signal to output to our LED, so the first parameter is analog out pin, which we originally set to pin number 9, which just so happens to be where our LED is connected to. The next parameter changes the duty cycle of our PWM signal. A PWM signal is a fixed frequency square wave that can change its duty cycle or how long the signal stays in either a high state or a low state. This parameter can be a number between 0 and 255. A value of 0 means that the square wave is always in a low state, and a value of 255 means the square wave is always in a high state. Any value in between means the PWM signal is high or low some of the time. We will pass in output value as our second parameter, which is the mapped value that is dependent on our analog potentiometer's reading. So if the potentiometer knob is turned all the way to the left, the light should be off. If the knob is all the way to the right, the LED will be at 100% brightness. And as we turn the knob, the LED's brightness will change accordingly thanks to the map function that we used. Lastly, we also use the serial.print function to send helpful data to our serial monitor. In this case, we're sending both raw analog input data stored in the sensor value variable, as well as our mapped value that we modulate our PWM with stored in the output value variable. And that's it. Just run your code by pressing the verify and download button, and let's start changing the LED's brightness.